was in 1973. I was at a friend's house in Steel Road. Um, Gula Muhammad, Ashad Kamis and uh, Kwek Sikki uh, came with a Chinese man who was driving a Mercedes car. So uh, they approached me and introduced me to uh, Colin Ng, who is the president of uh, ICS. They took me out for dinner and that's where Colin told me about his ambition to build one of the strongest teams in Singapore. Um, there was a lot of sparkles in his eyes uh, and there was a lot of amb ambitious in this uh, conversation and I was convinced. The success of Geylang was basically because we, we were able to motivate them and say, look, when you are successful, we will try and get sponsors for this uh, and that, you know, and, and then we plan ahead, like uh, uh, giving them trips abroad to play other teams abroad. And this motivation builds them up again, you see. And um, it became more successful and then, then we won, we started to win the Division 3 League as ICS Football Club. And we know whenever we step the field that we're going to beat this team. We have that kind of feeling because all the players, you know, when they are in the dressing room, we, we used to cheer each other and they say that, let's go out and trash them. Basically, everybody wants to play for Gelang that particular time. And for me to be chosen as a Gelang player is a, is a really big, it's a big honour for me, lah. Uh, I guess. Uh, that particular time, anyone also, it's not about the money. You know, there was a joke in the team. They were every time this joke will come out that if you are playing for a national team, it's just a national team. But if you are playing for Gela, we are Gela International Football Club. That's why these so-called terms carry us throughout our playing days in Gela because we are international players rather than national players. Oh, during that time. Somehow the, the club seems to have a lot of following because of the big number of national stars playing for Geylang International. So they, they, are, they are all very influential and I believe the fans all came to watch the stars play. So each time when we play, there's a huge crowd, huge following. This is the uh, stadium where we were used to park and wait for the gates to open. Hours, two hours before the matches are about to start. In this ground, we had a lot of superstars. For instance, Kimo from Finland, even UEFA president Michel Platini was uh, played half a game in Gelang's uniform. So you can see the stadium, especially in Queenstown Stadium when we play, the whole stadium is packed with... Uh, anywhere we go and play, all the stadium, supporters from everywhere will come and see the players. Like, because we have players like Dola Kasim, Samad Ali Piche, myself, Omar, Robert Sim. They love us very much. We had a lot of crowd. Um, Gelang Lorong 12, uh, there was a, at least 5,000 to 6,000 crowd to squeeze in. And I recall one game when we had it at Queenstown Stadium. The crowd was going around the stadium. And the game started for 20 minutes and it was abandoned because there were so many crowds, uh, at least uh, at that time it was more than 7,000. The, the game had to be abandoned and we played our return game at the National Stadium. Since then, all Geylang games were either played at Jalan Masa Stadium or at the National Stadium because of the crowd. Well, I just wish Geylang International could be at the stop again because these are always my my ambitious to see this club 
whenever they, they're down, I feel quite sad because this is the club when I first joined. So I just wish the officials, the fan, the football team, the current players that is joining the club to have the, to give him to give every uh, the best for Gelang International.